Now, number 2.16 from the Maths Camp exercise. A simple quotient rule, but one just to illustrate what you would do when you've got fractions within fractions, and particularly the roots and indices. So this one would simply be this. We've got y equals inverse sine of root x over the square root of 1 minus x. First stage, as usual, put that into index form. So that's inverse sine of x to the half over 1 minus x to the half. Quite often not necessary just with square roots, because square roots are quite easy to manage. But you would certainly do that if it was any other index apart from that. Then, quotient rule. So, differentiating it. So, square the bottom. Square in the denominator just produces that term. <coughs> then, differentiating the top part would give you 1 over the square root. Yes, I know I've got a square root and I've got indices. Of 1 minus <coughs> whatever it was operating on. So, the square of that is going to be just x multiplied by the derivative of that. Now the derivative of that part would be a half x to the negative a half. And then that's all multiplied by the denominator, the bottom function, 1 minus x to the power of a half. Minus, hoping it all fits on the page here, leave that first one alone. Inverse sine of, leave it as x to the half, multiplied by the derivative of the bottom. So that would be a half times 1 minus x to the negative a half. Now it's looking quite messy. <coughs> so the next stage would be, if it were any other index apart from halves, you'd probably keep them there to make it easier to sort out. But when they're just halves, it's much easier to deal with square roots, because you know what happens with square roots. A square root times a square root gives you the thing back, or something divided by a square root just gives you a square root. So putting them all back into square root form would be this. I'd have 1 over the square root of 1 minus x. Oh, that's a big subtract. And this part would be times 1 over 2 times the square root of x times the square root of 1 minus x minus inverse sine of the square root of x multiplied by 1 over 2 times the square root of 1 minus x, all over 1 minus x. Then, there's the fractions within fractions. Usual technique, multiply each of the terms, and there are three terms here, by whatever it takes to get rid of the awkward parts. Well, first of all, these two parts would simply cancel out. <coughs> so what I've got left to get rid of would be a 2, a root x, and a 1 minus root x. Multiply everything by that. I don't have room at the side to show this. Multiplying everything by, I'll just put it at the top here. Multiplying everything by 2 root x times the square root of 1 minus x. Multiplying everything by that. <coughs> so the first part, the 2 would cancel out, the root x would cancel out, and that would simply leave me with a square root of 1 minus x. And the second part, the 2 would cancel out, the root 1 minus x would cancel out, just leave me with a root x to multiply the sign. So that's minus root x, inverse sign, negative 1 of root x, all over. And then multiplying the bottom by all of that, 2 root x times the square root of 1 minus x times this, which would be another 2 of those, so it would be that part cubed. Quick and easy.